agreed upon by all the parties. But the more important thing that I want to stress, it's now too late to ask this question. But by now, you should be knowing what a blockchain is because all of your competitors already have consortia. The banks have a blockchain consortia. They're already adopting. They're already deploying. The transportation logistics community have their own. So if the post don't get a blockchain consortium soon, you will actually have a harder time surviving the fourth revolution. Okay, so uh, really briefly, I'm just going to pass this up uh, and talk about. So what I'm going to talk about is that you can't just do blockchain. The goal here is to leapfrog. It's to actually look better than everyone else. And to do it really quickly and to do so, what you need to do is use the power of your collaboration. Uh, so we're suggesting it's, you can't just talk blockchain now. You actually have to understand what AI and quantum computing are in order to look ahead of the competition. And we have experts in AI and uh, quantum optimization that will be working on it, our team and helping the post quantum optimize your telematics data so that you could actually have uh, 10 to the 6 improvement in, op, uh, in delivery time, right? 1 million fold improvement. So um, I'll pass that up for now. So the, these um, three things adding together, this is going to create a revolution that's bigger than the web. And th this is actually the, ex the full expression of the uh, information revolution. And it's time for the post offices uh, to catch up and to leapfrog everyone else. So what I want to talk about are the things that you, this industry needs to do. Um, the, the most important thing here is this one. Let's, let's hope it doesn't keep uh, advancing on me. Can you make sure it doesn't advance past the slide? Okay, so there are four things that we believe that uh, the UPU and the post need to do. Number one is you need to fast track a number of killer app pilots. Uh, what we do is we partner with not just the best blockchain company in your country, but in the world. So what we've done is we've brought together Consensus, which is the uh, leading Ethereum developer. We've brought together the exec executive director of the uh, Center for Blockchain Technologies at UCL, who used to be the head uh, digital economist for the German Central Bank. We've brought together the, the leading decentralized ID uh, um, uh, leadership. Uh, to work with the UPU, and that's already happening to discuss how to get S42 and S68 to embed into the uh, the World Wide Web's emerging decentralized ID standard. Uh, that standard actually, uh, when it, it's ratified and when it's adopted in six to 12 months, it will be exposed in one billion browsers. That means you could get S48 installed in a billion browsers if we actually move quickly enough. So that's the first thing we want to do is uh, propose a number of very powerful pilots using absolute best of breed uh, developers that you could share through all the posts, splitting the cost of it so that it's quite affordable and having a uniform, uniform platform. Uh, the second thing is it's really important to understand not just blockchain identity, but the standards that are emerging there around the W3C DID uh, movement. Um, the, the most important thing is for the post to realize that you know it may look like you need blockchain, but the reality is the blockchain industry needs the post in order to fully um, solve the last mile problem to your customers. And the fact that you have how many retail operation outlets does the post have? Like uh, six hundred thousand, right? It's it's an enormous retail outlet. So if you look at it. The, the posts are like battleships. You're very big, you're very powerful, but you're very slow. You can't turn. What you need to do is partner with speedboats. But the last thing you should tell a speedboat is don't move faster than us, right? <laughs> and that's what most posts do. So we have compliance, you can't move faster than us, you have to get all these approvals. You have to allow a speedboat to move very quickly. If you could get that done, you could win this game and leapfrog uh, Google and Facebook. So what I want to propose is that if all the posts could work together. So this last episode, I think was actually an opportunity when one country starts making a lot of aggressive moves and demanding that uh, you know you change the dues rate, terminal dues rates. It's actually an opportunity to move away from the old business models and move faster towards innovative digital models so that you can actually take care, you can actually dominate in that area. So what I wanna recommend is that if the posts work together, 
you'll look like an, not just a single battleship, but an armada. And actually, I've been speaking to Spanish Post. I was hoping they would, are, are you here somewhere? Spanish Carreros, no? So I was hoping they would join so we could call it the Spanish Armada. But anyway, um, so uh, the other thing is, uh, I was also the um, lead uh, facilitator for HTC's blockchain phone. So they're very interested in selling blockchain phones into Africa, and there's no distribution channel. And so they're building a $200 uh, low-cost smartphone you know, and I can tell all about it because we helped uh, lead the design effort. But they're looking for partners to deploy technology into Africa. And there are ways that you can make the, these lightweight phones, which are actually partial nodes that can make money when you plug them in. You can actually make money off of these phones while distributing them into Africa. And then finally, I think what we have to do is uh, look for quick wins in something like quantum computing that really gets the industry to go, wow, I didn't expect that to happen. Because what we want to do is create this thing we're calling the Universal Postal Blockchain Consortium, which would be, and uh, if you have any questions about this, all you have to do is look for one of my associates wearing one of these. Uh, and just a, a few quick words about the pilots. The first one, uh, which was actually the idea of Sergey Dukulski at the UPU, is to uh, take on Facebook. How does the entire postal you know, uh, Armada take on Facebook, which is deploying Libra, which is a global stablecoin. We're saying you could actually do your own global, global stablecoin. It would have faster adoption than, uh, than Facebook would because you have actually more customers than them. In the key areas where everybody's trying to acquire new customers, there'll be a billion new customers uh, in the next 10 to 20 years coming out of Africa. And it's, it's a sweet spot to go and make a significant amount of money and have an impact on the world. This financial inclusion engine would, uh, using a crypto, would probably reduce the cost of the money order system uh, well about an order of magnitude. So what we did is we partnered with Consensus, which is the leading developer of Ethereum, uh, and they actually had a project that's running in the country of the Philippines called the I2I pilot, and it's ready to deploy. So we said, let's take that. We don't want to take any risk. Take that technology, install it in the UPU, have a few posts and uh, trading partners uh, for remittance pilots uh, here, and then let's test uh, how you would deploy a cryptocurrency um, uh, stablecoin in, in the marketplace, which is very interesting. And so that's like one project. Uh, the second one is smart addressing. We actually have already gotten the um, UPU leadership around postal standards to talk to the World Wide Web Consortium members. All we would need to do is formalize that and push through. We've written the papers how to do that. So uh, that's the second one. And the third one is we have uh, a fellow named Dr. Fred Glover who won the Von Neumann Prize in optimization. So we have stuff that's running that is 15,000 times faster than anything ever. And we think we can actually apply it to the telematics data, uh, data that the PTC has and actually find immediate improvements. And we're just looking for a way to work with uh, you, your organization to deliver that. Once we do, we can take these findings and flow it through the entire network so that smaller posts can actually be more optimal. To give you an idea of what a um, quantum optimization could do, uh, Google just uh, leaked a paper where they declared that they've achieved something called quantum supremacy. Have, how many of you have heard of quantum computing? Is that, okay, that's good. So uh, it's been predicted that quantum supremacy, which is a quantum computer that actually runs faster than a classical one, wouldn't be done for a decade. So Google, they said, let's see if we can you know, push that a little. So they uh, sneaked the paper out showing that they've already achieved it. So that's the starting, of, that's the Sputnik of this movement. And if you don't look at quantum computing, you, you're going to be behind. Uh, what I can tell you is that my team has already been invited by the chief scientist for the supply chains at Amazon to sit down for a day with them on Friday. Okay, so this stuff is happening, and it's happening now. I would love the postal industry to uh, work on that. And so anyway, uh, the, this pilot already has many partners, uh, and there's many more things we can do. But the important thing is this. If you'd like to find out more, there's going to be a workshop tomorrow at 4.10 uh, where the Post Expo was kind enough to give us 90 minutes to drill down and talk about this. Uh, if you attend, we'll give you a free copy of our book, you know, Blockchain Design Sprints for the Postal Industry. Uh, and 
Uh, and if you have any questions, I and my associates will be outside and you can just ask us and we'll talk about all of this. So I think that if you're looking for a unified uh, platform that the UPU can help propel, this is it. Uh, we've been working with the UPU quietly about it. And what we'd like to do is now that you don't have to worry about the extraordinary Congress, it's time to think about the future, okay? So um, the last thing I have as a favor, if you are interested at all, I need to show uh, that there is interest. So take your business card and write the word yes, I'm interested, or just yes, and give it to me. If I can show a stack of cards to Bashar, this would actually get a significant amount of attraction in the organization, all right? It's like the kind of thing you need out in Silicon Valley. It's like, show me the progress. Okay, oh, I'll just say one more thing. Uh, there's a, a movie called Spare Parts. I don't know, have you ever heard of this movie? It's from America. It's about a little high school in California that was Latino, and it was like at the bottom of the list. And they decided that they wanted to compete in the robot, robotics contest. So they went up against MIT, right? Which they never thought they'd win, but they actually ended up winning the contest against MIT, which was uh, unbelievable. So what they did is exactly what the postal industry can do. And we're gonna talk about what they did in tomorrow's workshop. So we can talk about a strategy that will work for the UPU to leapfrog Facebook and Amazon and Google. Okay? Thank you very much, uh, Moses, for those introductory remarks. Um, now, if we can move back to what we were talking about before break, and Christian, perhaps you can build on your introduction <laughs> remarks and talk about your reflections on things like 